Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Which you new here? Hi, my name is Emily. I am 35 years old and I live in Sweden. Today I want to do my makeup with you. Um, can I get ready with me? Uh, doing <coughs> makeup, doing my makeup with things that I currently love. Mm. Yeah, I haven't been posting for a while, so. Uh, the newest thing is I have a, I have a new tattoo. <laughs> Cannot really show it, but it's a fox, and then it's some flowers. I absolutely love it. Okay, first, um, I have my sunscreen on, and it's my favorite. It's the EV Moss, the blue bottle. Um, and then I'm actually going to do my eyes, but I just want to show you a little bit of what kind of eyeshadows I do really love uh, during fall. So I really love this. Uh, this is the Dose of Colors Sassy Siennas. Uh, it looks like this. I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, and I think it's great. It's a bit of a drier formula than, than the other ones I won't show you, but I do really love it. Uh, the ABH and Jackie Ina palette that I absolutely love. The ABH Primrose. Um, is it in focus? I love that. The ABH Cosmos. Cosmos I also really love. The ABH, the new one, the Fall Romance. And then, actually, uh, Julia's Place, the Tribe palette. Um, it's one of my favorite for falls as well. For fall. Please excuse me. <laughs> uh, I definitely have more that I love. Uh, for fall. Um, but today I'm actually going to use, uh, let's see, I'm going to use the Sassy Sienas with the Tribe from uh, Juvia's Place and then I can do a look with my ABH later. <laughs> and this look has been a go-to look for me now for a couple of days. Uh, my favorite eye base is the Gloss Gods That Base, Crease Killer Eyeshadow Base in I don't know what shade I have and it doesn't say. I think I have the shade number three. So I just take some on my lid. And then I haven't brushed my I haven't washed my brushes in quite some time, which is uh, not good. But it is what it is. And uh, uh so I don't have that many. <laughs> I'm going to reuse my brushes just doing the Verona color switch thing. Um, when I'm filming this, it's the 14th of October. Uh, it's Saturday and uh, it's in the morning. Uh, today we're going for like a... Um, we're going to like grill some... Do you say grill? Grill some sausages with buns and stuff like that in the woods with my sister and her family. But first my daughter is going to her dance class. Okay, so this is a sticky base with, with a color to it. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous though. Uh, sorry for my hair, I'm going to show you later what it looks like now, but it's qu quite curly. So the combo, eyeshadow combo, I've been really loving, uh, just because it's it's folly colors, if I can say that. I don't know if you can see my tattoo, since um, I'm so sure the video is going to cut it out. Uh, then I take my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, sponge. This is a little bit dirty. This is the Paw Paw sponge from Shop Me Say. Uh, it's uh, the greatest sponge I've ever used, and it, I buy them in six packs, and they are like the cheapest ones out there as well. But they are really good. 
I haven't used another sponge in like one or two years now. Obviously another one than this, but the same brand. <laughs> so I just uh, remove the excess. Mm. And then I take my Sassy CNS uh, Dose of Color Palette and I'm going to take uh, that shade there. <clears throat> I don't know how well you will see this. Let me see if I can. I cannot zoom through. I'm filming with my iPhone. I am thinking about filming with my other camera, but um, I don't have my computer and I need my computer to edit on that one. So, so you know. So I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and then I'm just applying to my outer corner. So how are you? How have you been uh, since I last uploaded? Uh, I'm actually doing great. Um, I have fallen in love with makeup again, with scents. Uh, I love my job. I love, I love everything. <laughs> um, I've changed doctors, so now I'm finally getting help for my thyroid and uh, I can feel a change in me and my body because of that. I have some new medication and it's going it's going pretty good. I uh, cannot complain. Uh, if you can hear my stomach, I'm sorry, I'm drinking coffee and it's making funny noises. I have bought one advent calendar this year and it's uh, from a Swedish perfume site called Essence or Essence uh, and they first started out by duping popular uh, designer perfumes and then uh, I don't know if they have any of their own but they had a um, advent calendar this year that I ordered because I don't want any more makeup. Or I don't want, want any more random makeup. I don't want some other person to to pick, pick it out for me. And I don't need more makeup. I'm going to... I might do a declutter later this year. Especially like my eyeshadow palettes. Because I often use my ABH and that's it. <clears throat> Once that color is done, I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter color. Uh, I'm actually going to take that one. Is it focusing? That one. Uh, and then just apply that like on top of it so it can blend a little bit better. And then I'm going into the Juvia's Tri Palette. This is an oldie, but <laughs> a goldie. I wish that I had a newer version of this because mine is getting quite old, but I'm not sure. I don't think they do this anymore. Uh, but as I showed you, it looks like this. And I'm going to use that shade and a little bit of that shade. And then I'm going to use this shade in the inner corners with a flat flat packed brush mm. so I'm going to start out with the orange one and just apply that like on half of, outer half of my lid I'm going to wipe my brush off a bit and then I'm going to take the other one that is more like a brownish green color and apply that on the rest of my lid. I don't know if you can see it because of the light but this color is absolutely gorgeous. I wore this like three days in a row now. <laughs> Yeah, 
in September I was in Greece for one week with my mother-in-law and my daughter while my husband stayed home to renovate the kitchen so now we have a brand new kitchen if you can hear anything they are outside my room and cleaning can you see anything it looks um, messy uh, because I haven't like properly properly shade not shade what do you call it anyway uh, then I'm going to take uh, the darkest color in this which is that one anyway the darkest color and on a small brush I'm just going to darken this up a little bit in the outer corners to get some more definition I think that this brush might be a little bit too flimsy <clears throat> Not if you can see anything there we go then I'm taking a large fluffy brush and I'm going to um, blend with this hello now it looks a little bit better and uh, I'm actually going to leave that at that and I'm going just going to wipe away the fallout. Then as my favorite primer lately, I have been using this. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I don't take much at all. But I'm kind of like pressing that into my skin. I don't know if it helps with the pores, to be honest. I don't have that much of a... My, my larger pores are kind of gone due to my rigid skincare routine. So that was my primer. And for my newest favorite foundation, uh, I have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation, and I have the shade 1N, uh, which I really like. I like the longevity, I like the color, I like how it blends, I like everything about it. So I'm just going to tap that into my skin. Uh, once that is blended, I'm going to take my current favorite concealer, which is the Flower Beauty one. Uh, and I have one, man, I have mine in uh, porcelain, I think. And this is actually a little bit too light, so I, I don't take much at all. Because I realized if I take much, then in a couple of hours, when all of my other, when my face starts to kind of like the oils are coming through and stuff, I'm kind of light under my eyes and it doesn't look that good. And then I just take my sponge again. Something like this. Now I look really like flat. So <clears throat> I have some favorite new products. Um, it's not everything. Everyone is not new, but this is the Elf Halo Glow Contour Stick in the shade Fair Light. Um, 
I have actually really been liking this, but I don't take much at all. I just take a little bit there and then on the other side of my face. <coughs> And then I just take like a brush just to create like a shadow on my cheeks. The, the case did not take that much because it's a grayish color. Something like that. Um, let's start with my favorite uh, bronzer at the moment. This is the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. Um, I do really like this color and this product in general because it's really easy to blend and it looks really good on the skin throughout the day. So I just take a brush and uh, kind of like work that in and then I usually go over it with my sponge later on. Now it can look a little bit much, but <clears throat> once I have my powder on and once I blend it a little bit better, it's going to look quite good. Okay, then I actually have some new favorite blushes because it's me. Uh, the Rare Beauty one. In the shade Enc Encourage, it's like a cooler toned. I have the Milk Makeup in Quirk. I do really like that. Uh, and then I have the Honest Beauty in Peony Pink. These are kind of, these are new to my collection from this year. Maybe not the milk makeup one. Um, but other ones. And then my two new from Wet the Wild, the Flora Majority and Current Jam. Um, today I'm actually going to use the Wet and Wild Current Jam, and then I take a brush actually, um, and do it like that to pick up the product. Um, I picked up a little bit too much, as you can see, uh, but no worries. You know I'm a I'm a blush lover. There you go, and then putting the lid back on, <laughs> and then I want to take my sponge and just kind of like tone it down a little bit. As I said, the I'm going to set this with the translucent powder, and it's going to help with the colors being a little bit more muted. But then I actually have a new favorite favorite uh, highlighter and it's the Elf Halo Glow Highlight Wand in Champagne. And um, it's a bit of a messy packaging, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's really good and it's, if I blend it correctly it looks nice throughout the day without being like, whoa, you have a strike of highlight on your face. Um, which I really, really love. Um, and I love the shade, it kind of, I don't know if you can see, but now it looks streaky. And then I go in with my finger first and kind of tap it in. And then I go in with my sponge. And now I'm going to set this on with a powder, so I'm just going to take away the creases on my eyes. And I'm still using the Maybelline Fit Me powder because it is one of my favorite. And I don't want to open a new one. I set my whole face with this. Um, I start always start with the under eyes. Uh, now my whole face is set with the powder and as you see it kind of muted it down a little bit. If you want to, you can go in with uh, powder products on top of this, like powder bronzer or powder blush and powder highlight, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to finish my eyes and then I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take the Sassy Sienna's, um, the brown shade we used first, and just drag that along my lower lash line. Um, 
apparently a bit messy. And then just going to take like a small brush and um, blend it, <laughs> sorry. I love these kind of like burnt orange, burnt brown colors. They are amazing. And then I'm going back into my tribe palette and I'm going to take that brownish, that color there. Uh, and uh, take that underneath as well. So it kind of looks cohesive. And then as I said, for my inner corner, I'm taking that green duochrome shade. And that is stunning. And I'm just dragging that a little bit around everywhere. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm taking a fluffy brush and just blending it so it looks a bit better something like this then for my brows i'm using the same thing i have for quite some time now and it's the lh cosmetics uh, infinity deep palette that is a multi-use palette and I'm using that shade there for my brows. Uh, so I'm just going to fill in my brows real quick and then I'm going to show you my favorite brow product after this. Uh, something like this. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the NYX uh, Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara in Auburn. I have repurchased this two or three times and I love it. I need to color my hair. I'll be doing that in, in oh, one week basically. Uh, and I'm not sure what color to, to have now if I'm going like dark brown or dark red. And then for my last step, because I'm not going to use anything on my lips, I'm going to use this. This is the Neely Cosmetics Mascara. So I'm just going to apply that. And here we have the finished look. Let me see if I can... Maybe you can see it better now. I don't know. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> I really need to color it. Uh, but... Can I kind of like do anything about the lights? No, I cannot. Um, so these are my current favorite products. Uh, what kind of colors do you like to use during fall? Uh, I really like these kind of like burnt oranges and browns and golds and stuff like that. Uh, and greens, of course. I will always be. I will always love greens. Um, please let me know in the comments down below if you. Uh, what do you like to wear during fall or autumn? Um, this is my favorite look anyway. Um, please do subscribe if you have not already. I'm not sure when I upload again, but I wish I had more time. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please comment as I said. And until I make another one, you guys, please take care. Bye.